Hey everybody, Kim here with Little Biz Resources. And today we're gonna to talk about print on demand design ideas that sell. And yes, these methods are free and easy. So where to find design ideas that sell? I'm gonna cover the free and easy methods, Amazon, Etsy, and keyword research. There is software and it's still easy and definitely faster, but it costs money. And the link for, the, for that particular software is in the description if you wanna check that out. This is part of our start an online business free with no money print on demand series. Hence the reason why we're doing the free and easy method. For this video, let's just explore what everyone really wants. Free and easy. All right, so Amazon considerations before we hop over there. Lower priced items sell well. So cheap can trump a good design idea. So if you, that means if you have a good design idea, but it doesn't isn't cheap, somebody's cheap idea even if it's not as good as yours, will probably win because lower price tends to make more sales. And this is part of why we have to test multiple designs. And while I'll show you how to create lots of different products with each design, right? We want to do lots of different products. Now, of course, even if you don't plan on selling on Amazon, this is still a good research tool. So and I'll, I'll talk more about that when we're in Amazon. Another consideration is Amazon Prime shipping plays a role in buying decisions. Okay, so the bottom line, just because it sells well at low prices on Amazon doesn't mean it will do well on print on demand. And that's just the reality of things. But that doesn't, but it's still a good place to start and give you ideas. So let's hop on over to Amazon and take a look at how we can do some research. When you're on Amazon, you can actually do research a couple of different ways. So right now I have nothing enabled. This is just amazon.com and it looks like it doesn't know my address. That's fine. So you can just come in here and you can type, let's say you have an idea. Um, let's go with Beagle shirts, right? So you wanna say Beagle shirts and you wanna see what's going on. You can just type that in, right? Another option is to go into best sellers. So let's explore best sellers and then I'll dive into the other one as well. And you can come in here, it looks like clothing is right here. And if, depending on if you're just doing shirts, you might want to narrow it down. But for the most part, you can come take a look and see what is selling well. Typically, I do not find any type of print on demand in the top sellers. And then it'll pick like the top 100 or something like that. So you may or may not want to play with best sellers. It's kind of up to you if you want to get some inspiration. But you'll see there's a lot of um, general stuff in here. And that's not really what we're looking for. So here's one that's Beagle Shirts. And you can come in here. Now, you would think that when you do a search for Beagle shirts, that Amazon would show you the best products, but that's not the way the algorithm works. The way the algorithm works is that it will show it to you based on so many different factors. It's ridiculous, including your prior search history, including your location, including, um, you know, if you've clicked on somebody else's product that looks kind of similar, it just, there's so many factors. So, in this case, you don't, you want to go ahead and look beyond just what's coming up, right? They have an Amazon's choice here that can be manipulated. So it's just kind of maybe, maybe not, but you can see that this one is the Beagles. It's $21.99. The Amazon also has something merch by Amazon. So people, you can design when you're designing, you can also load it up in here for the merch by Amazon stuff. So it'll be print on demand from Amazon, but they have like better shipping options than we do through through third party methods. Now, of course, it doesn't matter which way you're going at this point. This is just for research, okay? And the reason why we use Amazon and Etsy versus other places, so like Cafe Press, you can't. So let me show you Cafe Press real quick. Cafe Press. You there is no no sales data in here, right? Let's put in the same thing. We'll put in Beagle shirt. See what I can type. And just because they're coming up here doesn't mean that they're selling, right? But you can see that the prices are pretty comparable to what you're seeing on Amazon. And you can look at different designs. I can't believe they're getting away with that. Don't go with licensed. I'm going to say that every time. Do not do something licensed because like this is a licensed, Snoopy is a licensed character and you can get in trouble selling those or designing that. You can get pulled and everything else. Um, yeah, so... That's I think that's a picture off think of a Pixabay, so that's kind of funny. It's sad that I know all this stuff, right? So you can see, but there's no data in here. So let's just go into this one, right? There's there's no no way to figure out if they if this sell if this is ever even sold, right? I mean, I don't even think there's reviews. There's no review, but there's nothing. 
So if you want to do something like on Cafe Press, which these are good marketplaces to check for to get ideas from, but you won't know if they sell or not. And the problem with that is you could design this all day long, but you could be spending your time designing stuff that nobody's paying for. So you can do two things with that. One, just design a ton of stuff and hope that something sticks, which is kind of what we're going to do. But ideally, we do it with a little bit of research in advance. And that's because if we at least have an idea of where we're going with it, it makes it a little bit easier to design stuff. So for this one, we're, if you want to do, if you want to search Cafe Press and Teespring and all those other ones, that's where that software comes in handy because they pull in a bunch of information and they can do that. But you can't do it without going through a third party that I know of at least. So this one, if you want to come in and do it on Amazon though, what's great is that Amazon doesn't tell you sales data, but it kind of does. And if you want to do this the long and hard way, which is still fine and free, it's, um, you can, I'm going to show you a free way to do it for a little bit faster too, but they'll tell you how long it's been. So date first available is June 24th, 2018, right? And they'll tell you the best sellers rank. Now I'm going to be honest. The best sellers rank is a little misleading because you saw that we, we clicked on this in the first page, but this is 253,934 in clothing. So I'm going to look at this. I'm going to say, first of all, it's a general shirt. And while it says nope on it, Beagle, nope. I'm, I'm sure that means something. And that's probably because that's the way beagles look when they tell you, no, they're not going to do something. You can see there's 79 ratings and it has a general, you know, I wouldn't worry too much about that other than because the people are purchasing it, they're purchasing it for the design. And usually they're leaving a review based on quality and a bunch of other stuff, which you don't have to worry about because you're not manufacturing it. If you're using Printful, they have good quality stuff. And if you're using one of the marketplaces, they're going to have the quality that people are buying from. So that won't, that won't be a factor for you. So in this case though, we can say that, okay, well, 200 and something thousand, that doesn't seem very high, right? That doesn't seem very high. And with only 79 reviews since 2018, I'm going to guess, even though I will tell you, I sell on Amazon, not this, but I sell ornaments on Amazon and it is very difficult to get customer reviews. So considering that they have 79 since 2018, that's not horrible. That's more than some of mine. And I do pretty good at Christmas time. So 253,000 still clothing, shoes, and jewelry. Let's take a look at some other ones. Let's take a look at some of the first ones. And here's one that's Anatomy of Beagle. That's a sponsored one. I feel bad clicking on it, but at the same time, it's super cute. So we're doing it anyway. They have a lot of different variations. And this one could be... I don't, I, this one, um, these look like merch by Amazon. So they could be, I'm not sure how to tell them that. I'll have to ask my sister one of these days. Um, let's see here. So since November of 2020, so it hasn't been on very long. It only has six ratings and it's rated at 576,000. So it's rated even lower. Now the rating is not necessarily for buying, right? It doesn't mean that they, a lot of people buy, but typically if there are more sales, it will have a higher rating. I will tell you now there is a way to manipulate that, but for the most part, you're not going to run into a lot of that on here. So this, those are sponsored ones. Let's skip that. These are the first, that's the first one that came up was 200 and something thousand. And it could just be that there's not a huge demand for Beagle shirts, right? So maybe you're going to do, um, and I like this. I actually have a quote off of Parks and Rec that I'm going to do. It's not really unique to them, but we're going to do Parks and Rec shirt just to see what's coming up. And those are sponsored. Let's skip those. That's Ron Swanson. That's hilarious. So this one, it has 681 reviews. It's cheap. It's $16.99. So it may not be a print on demand, but that's okay. We can still check to see if this idea, this is 160,000 in clothing. So you can see that there's a big difference between that. So if you're like, Hey, I have an idea. You can do it this way. If you're like, Hey, I don't have an idea. You may have to look at the marketplaces first and get an idea. Um, that's funny because he was, well, if you've seen the movie, you know why it's funny. So we're going to scroll back down. So now let me show you that I've done this 150,000. So the Parks and Rec definitely has a better demand. At least these shirts do than some of the Beagle ones. So now let me show you, I'm going to go back to here, I guess. There is an extension. If I can find it on here, it's called DS Amazon. Now I have the quick view extended, but it's called DS Amazon quick view. Let's go ahead and test this. You can show product details on mouse over. That's what I want. And show buy box holder. Sure. Oh, I don't need that actually. That tells you who, who has the buy box right now. So let's, now let's refresh. So it'll hopefully implement it. 
And now when I scroll over it, even if it's in the sponsored, it shows me down here what the rating is. So I no longer have to click into each one to look at it, right? And it'll show you. So 1,508 in men's casual button-down shirts is not bad. 266,000 in clothing, shoes, and jewelry. Probably not horrible. But I would want to look and see. I would look. This will give me an idea, okay? I can compare it to different topics that I'm interested in. That's just showing it to me. So I'm making me browse over it now. So I can scroll over it and it'll show it to me as well. But it's right here. 4,411 and 160,000. We saw that one. So you can do this a lot faster, see? And I will tell you, you need to pay attention to this. Because all of a sudden you'll see one that says like seven and it's not a top category. So you're looking for ones that are like a lower number in the top category. So I'm going to keep going here. And it looks like this is pr ranked pretty much like the more popular ones are first. That's an office one, not a parks and rec. So, um, yeah, I mean, that's, that's what you do on this. Okay. So that's Amazon. And now let's go into Etsy. So Etsy is a little bit more fun for at least when I'm looking at it. And you know what? Let me actually go into incognito window because I keep tweaking my stuff on here. Right. My, my searches. So let's do the same thing. Let's do Beagle shirt and see if, so this one is, first of all, the stars on here do not mean the same thing as the stars on Amazon. The stars on Amazon are for the product. The stars on here are for the seller. Okay, so these are all ads in the first one. So let's just skip that and see. So this one says Halloween Beagle shirt. The fact that it's, oh, it's $12.59. That's pretty cheap. So we'll just come into it anyway. And we'll see here. Okay, they've got, we want to scroll down right here, down here, and look at the reviews. Oh, sorry, I passed them. So the reviews here to see, usually the first ones, this is Corgi. It doesn't look like anybody's bought any beagles, because, or at least not left a review on it, I should say. So they only have 445 shop reviews. So let's say that we liked their shop, or like, hey, we know they're a print-on-demand shop. You can try to come in here, and if this is clickable, then you can click on it and see what has sold. Otherwise, you just have to look at the reviews and see what the reviews have done. But let me show you one. I'm going to show you Spoonflower on here, because I was playing with it the other day. And Spoonflower is one of the places that we're going to be putting our design, our repeating designs on. And that's because they sell a lot of different things. Like, see, they have, they have bedding here. They have wallpaper. Now, wallpaper and fabric sell really well on here from Spoonflower. And you'll see exactly what I mean in just a minute. Did you mean... Stop it. Did you mean the shop, Spoonflower? Yes, that's what I want. Now, with our shop, and this is exactly what I mean. Now, you can scroll over it. See how it's clickable right there? And you can click it and see actually what they've sold. So this is helpful to say what designs are selling right now. Now, this doesn't mean, again, the stuff that sells on Etsy and the stuff that sells on Amazon are going to be two different things. Spoonflower sells on Amazon. They sell on eBay. They sell on lots of different platforms. So it's not like, and by the way, when you go on Spoonflower, we'll teach you how to get on these platforms through there as well, if that's something you're interested in. So you'll still make the, if you're putting it on Spoonflower, it's not your product, it's your design but it's their product, they're shipping it out right now, so you don't have to worry about that. So you can still go through here, and it always cracks me up. I like looking at these, because a lot of these, like this one, is very similar to some designs that Joanne's has sold over the years. So somebody's definitely either inspired, or perhaps Joanne's taps the same person. Um, let's see, this one's just like one. There are a lot of these actually are. I don't check all the floral ones at Joann's or do I remember them? This one's just like one. This one's just like one. I mean, so there's another way too that we haven't really talked about, right? You could go into, let's say Joann's is a, it's fabric, but you could see they sell stuff or you go to, you know, whatever the, they should be already tested if they're in the store. So if there's a design selling it hot in a store that you're like, Hey, I like that. So we'll say shopping fabric and we'll just look at the cotton fabric and the quilt cotton fabric just for fun. Do do do. Joanne's store is not very good at, at um, loading fast no matter when. So if that, if you have that problem, pff, don't worry. It's not you, it's them. So this one they've had on there for a while. Um, this one, these are all designs that they've had on there for a while. Let's see, you can actually sort by best, it, sort, it sorts automatically by best sellers. At least it does for me. So you can see their top sellers in here. 
and what in the order typically of what they are. So these are, you know, that's funny. This one's at another store too. That's not a Joanne design. That's a, a third party design. So yes, yeah, so you can see some of the designs in here. You can keep viewing as many as you want. They Joanne sells a lot of fabric. And if people are making fabric, if you're like, hey, that's what I want to do is make repeating designs for fabric, then you should probably look here and get inspiration on some of the stuff that sells. Because this will help you. I mean, obviously you saw the stuff that's selling. I, I told you a lot of it has sold here in Joanne's. Now, my guess is, and this is because my sister and I both are in this industry, that Joanne's does not carry as much as they should. And so what happens is like, let's say they have this one as free pickup here, but it's not available for shipping, right? So that's based on wherever they've decided that the closest store is or that where I have it set. So this is American Fork and that is my closest store. So if American Fork didn't have it in stock, it would be not available, not available for free pickup. So if people narrow that down, it's no longer in stock. So guess where you go? You go to Etsy. So that's what makes Spoonflower a really, really popular one. You can see they're actually one of the top 100 sellers on Etsy and, and on a regular basis. And that's because there's a lot of people that are in that, in that market. So if you're looking for, if you're like, Hey, I like that idea. I like, I mean, look and see here, this is mostly wallpaper here and a sushi one. Sushi was really popular on Joanne's for a while too. But like I said, they can't get their inventory in. Everybody's stuck at the ports. So you can just scroll through and look at different designs and give yourself ideas on what's selling right now. So that's, it's really, really, really easy to use. And Etsy is a little bit more difficult to find shops that are, that are doing that. So if you want to do t-shirts as an example, um, we can do t-shirt. Now this is what's great. So we saw on Amazon that the t-shirts that came up were plain, right? That's not going to happen here because this has got to be designs. So you've got like this one is best and, oh, these are ads. Let's skip that. You can be anything, be kind t-shirt, just be kind. So this is one that's there, $10.71. That's going to be a factor, 920, 805, 750. That's interesting that that's so low. 699, 999. These are really low. This is not what we will be pricing ours at if we are doing print on demand with Printful. Um, let's see here. So I'm looking for one. This is a personalized one. Let's check this one. No, let's not check that one. I don't want to check that one. I raise chickens. I'm literally a chicken tender. <laughs> okay. So let's just say this one has 237 sales and they do have theirs open. So we can click on it and we can see. So they have that one sold. They have this be kind. So you can see right now what has been selling. That doesn't tell you when they were sold, right? It doesn't tell you when. So this, depending on when this store started, and if you want to find that, if that's something you want to are concerned about, you can go down to the reviews. And typically, if you go to their first reviews, you can see that this one looks like they started fairly recently. They have a bunch of reviews starting in September of 2021. So that's not bad. 200 and something orders in that time frame. But I'll tell you what, those prices are why. Those are really cheap prices. So I don't know if it looks like they're doing print on demand. So it might be worth even checking to see if they listed who their print on demand person was. Um, let's see. Do, do, do. Few shop. No, it doesn't look like they have it listed from a print shop in San Francisco, California. So San Francisco might be where they're at though. You don't have to list where your print shop is. So we don't know. They didn't, they didn't list it, but the fact that it's so low tells me they have, um, they're using a very inexpensive place and that would be worth us checking out before we get to those places. Right. But in the meantime, we're using Printful for all of our shirts. Oh, that one's a little sketchy. I don't know if I do that one. So again, same thing. You shouldn't do licensed. You will get tagged on here. I can't, I kid you not. I get tagged randomly for ones that I'm not even related to. And I'm like, what? So that's Etsy. And, um, let's see, we talked about Amazon. Let's go to Etsy. All right. So Etsy buyers tend to lean towards unique and different, right? You saw some little quirky ones in there. Etsy requires, requires designs to be unique. And once you get beyond the initial suspension, which I say that, but it, that's what they're doing right now. So if you haven't started an Etsy account, start the Etsy account, then expect to be suspended and then reach out to me because we have some specific instructions you can use. 
Um, as it, it just seems to be a thing. Everybody we know that started a shop in the last few days has been shut down. We do not know why. It just seems to be a thing they're doing. Instead of saying, hey, we want you to give us more information before we activate your account, they just activate the account and suspend it. And then say, oh, well, we hope that we're good. they'll reach out to us. It's, to me, completely unethical, but whatever. That's I'm not part of Etsy. I don't own any of their stock, so I have no say. But you will get shut down. So once you get back on, it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when, right? You will get shut down if you post the same designs as other people. So if you steal somebody else's design, which we never want to do, we're just getting inspiration here, then you will get shut down. It's just, it really is. And if you use licensed designs, you might get away with it for a while, but eventually they'll shut you down. Only list your designs on Etsy, right? So if you contract with someone, so like if you go to Fiverr or you go somewhere else and you say, hey, design something for me, run an image search in Google to make sure they gave you a unique image. Because yes, you can prove that you purchased it from them, but Etsy really doesn't care, right? So you want to make sure that this is as unique as possible. And if you haven't made it, you had, you contracted it out for somebody else to make, it was still your idea and everything, then you just need to make sure that's a 100% unique design still. Or you know what I mean, like it's completely unique. All right, so the last part is keyword research. And I'm not gonna dive deep into this, mostly because we've already gone long enough. But keyword research can help you find unique design ideas and see what people are searching for on specific platforms. An example of this would be eRank or Marmalade. I think that's what it's called for Etsy. I've used eRank before. It's useful um, for the most part. I don't need a whole bunch of keyword research for my products right now because my products don't have, it's very simple on what they are. But it is a good idea to do that to see what's what's uh, less competitive. Uh, Merchant Words or about a dozen other potential tools for Amazon. I'll tell you, I use Merchant Tools. When I first got started on Amazon, I used Merchant Tools and I had like 10 ideas that I had come up with. And I was like, well, which one do I want to do for this coming up? This was back in like 2015. And I was like, what, what ideas do I want to come up with? And I said, okay, well, I'm going to go in. I'm going to do, I, and I was doing ornaments. So I went into ornaments and I sit there and spent days sifting through, look, putting in different combinations of words and everything. And I finally came up with pharmacy ornaments. And I, and I went, and what I would do is I would go on merchant words and find the keyword. And then I would go to Amazon and find and put the keyword in and see how many results there were. It's different now. Okay. But I just want to explain the potential here. When I typed it in and let me show you on Amazon again, right? So I'm going to go into Amazon. And I'm going to put in pharmacy ornaments. And you're going to see, I don't think mine pop up anymore. They used to be number one spot. But you can see that there's a lot of different results. Oh, wait, there we are right there. So you can see there's a lot of different results now that come up. But when we first did it, it was a grand total of like 27 or something. So now there's seven pages. There was less than one page. Less than one page. There was no way that if somebody typed that in, they were not going to see us, right? So there, that doesn't happen anymore. So this one says 593 results, but what's what's that's still really low, by the way, especially considering that the when it gets closer to Christmas, this usually jumps up. But for that year, it was like 50,000 searches a month or something. And I was like, okay, I'm going to do this. I'm gonna, it's coming up to the, the Christmas time. I'm going to run it. We did it. We had one of the best Christmases ever doing that. Because we were able, well, we were able to design, design them and, and get them made as soon as possible. But the whole thing is, is that there, we didn't have hardly any competition or anything else, but that was using keyword research. And I didn't have to look at the, that the particular designs that were here and say, oh, okay, well, this is giving me inspiration. Uh-uh. I just said, okay, this is, I'm going to do this. Then I'll come up with a design. So you can do the same thing where if you know that there's a demand, like this is 260 per month, but this is based on keywords everywhere. And keywords everywhere where it's a good tool, it's not specific to Amazon. So you want to go on something like Merchant Words or on some other Amazon tool to see what kind of, what, what their research is suggesting. And while their data may not be exact, it'll give you a good idea of whether it's worth putting the time and effort into. And if people are looking on Amazon, that doesn't mean that they're looking on other marketplaces, but probably, right? If it's trending somewhere, one place is probably trending in other places. So keywords everywhere, which I meant to put the dot com there, is really for general information. Or if you want to use Google Keyword Planner, if you run ads and have access to the detailed traffic data, okay? So we will do keyword research another time. But for now, I just wanted to give you a, a good start to see how you can get an idea of what is selling, right? What is selling? So keyword research is more to get more ideas, maybe not necessarily what's selling, but, or well, just generally what's selling based on keyword. 
but you can go into Amazon, you can go into Etsy and you can see what is selling completely free. You don't have to pay for anything. And I will have links for everything in there. So let's talk next up. So click the link in the description to get started with Printful. If that's what path you want to be on, click the link in the description to sign up for Etsy and get 40 free listings. Just remember if your account gets suspended, just reach out to me, put a note in the comments or something. And, um, I'll put the link to wherever we decide to put the instructions on how to get, get that back. Then please ask questions. You can hop into the little biz resources, Facebook group. You can ask on this video or come live on Thursdays here on this channel. The next videos that we're going to do, which should be tomorrow or the sometime this weekend, I should say, we'll show you how to use Photoshop and GIMP specifically to design the actual products. So now we've talked about the, how to figure out what to, to design and now tomorrow or whatever day the, the videos come out, it could be tomorrow or the next day, we'll be sp focused on specifically, we'll have one video for Photoshop and one video for GIMP and GIMP is the free tool, right? So if you don't have Photoshop and you don't want to pay for Photoshop, get GIMP. It's completely free. And we'll have links to everything in the description. And if you like this content, please hit the like button and help me spread this content to more people. I thank you for watching.